G'day guys, Aaron here. Welcome back to the workshop. I've just taken Max for a walk to the beach and the wind is up, so I'm really keen to keep progressing with the, uh, the conversion from pure sup to sail sup. So yesterday I got stuck into removing the remaining parts of the deck that I didn't get with my circular saw. And for that, I didn't want to use a belt sander. I didn't want to use a grinder. I wanted to have no noise, no dust, no PPE and no mess all over the floor. So I used a, a really sharp number, a 10 millimeter wide chisel. And I just took my time and I just took all that off as you saw. And it was far more satisfying. Uh, I didn't have to wear, you know, PPE and e marks and all that kind of thing. Less mess and the job's done perfectly too. So it would have probably taken less time doing it that way than if I used a belt sander. So the, the surface is now all perfectly level from this joint to the bow and from side to side. And now it's time to mark out where I'm gonna position my mast and my data board. So here's my exposed bow section. It is from the, from the, the bow itself to this joint here, it's 128 and a half centimeters. And across, we're looking at 75 centimeters. And so my data board is gonna be positioned in between this frame and this join here. And it'll probably take up most of that space because I want the dagger board to be 200 millimeters in, in width and probably about 800 millimeters deep. That's a dagger board case in here. And I'm gonna have my mast needs to be 400 millimeters from the leading edge of that to the base of the mast. So starting from 800 millimeters here, I have 200 millimeters for the dagger board case. And then, so that means our mast is going to be in this position here. And that's give or take a centimeter or two. I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference. So this can be the position of the mast and our dagger board is in here, in this space here. Now that I have my measurements down for where the dagger board case and the mast will go, it's time to cut out the actual case components itself and the two, two halves of the dagger board, which will be all cut out of nine millimeter plywood. All right, so it's a couple of days later. Uh, I've got all my pieces cut for my dagger board, my dagger board case. We're gonna do some cool up today, but it's also school holidays. So I've got the kids set up with a game of giant Jenga. So if you hear a massive crash and some squeals, someone's obviously pulled the wrong piece out and the whole thing's come falling down. So let's get uh, set up for glue. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put a protective layer over my sup and use that as my workbench. With the plastic sheeting over the sup to protect it from epoxy glue, I started marking out the dagger board case. There's two pieces of plywood which will be separated by two layers of nine millimeter ply. And I'm putting an angle on this of about five degrees by measuring one centimeter in and then two centimeters in and then joining those lines up. And that'll also give me a reference of where I put my glue. Saw a couple of spots where there were some holes in my plastic sheeting, so I wanted to cover those up. Raining today, isn't it? Is it raining? Yeah. I normally use a two to one marine epoxy, which I measure by weight. But with this five to one marine epoxy, I'll be making a master five to one ratio on a wooden stir stick to use as a reference every time I mix up a new batch. I always like to mix my epoxy for at least two to three minutes. And when I do that, you'll often see me pacing around the garage. I like to think that I'm thinking something profound, but mostly I'm thinking, don't mess it up. When adding in micro balloons to your mixed epoxy, you definitely want to make sure you do it gently, and particularly when you're mixing it up in the cup, you fold it over 
until it's all completely wet and then you give it a really thorough mix because some of those pieces can get quite chunky whilst they're not being used in the container. When I was happy with the consistency of my thickened epoxy mixture, I just poured the whole lot onto my two halves of the dagger board and then I used the notch trowel to evenly spread that out, making sure I got all the way up and down the board to the edges, really covering every piece of exposed timber so there was plenty of glue on there. Because when I wanted to apply my clamps, I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of squeeze out and that every surface was covered. All right, so it's approximately 24 hours later. The epoxy has gone off. It is nice and hard on both the dagger board and the dagger board case. So next thing I need to do is trim off all this excess here from the dagger board case because I made it oversized. So I give myself a bit of room to move there. So I need to trim this up so it fits nicely inside here. And for that, I'm gonna mark either side and get my circular saw out and cut it nice and straight. I gotta say that is a pretty good looking freehand cut using only the guide, the inside guide here on my saw. With both edges cut now, it's time to mark out my leading edge and my trailing edge of my foil. And I'm also going to run a texture line down the middle here so I know I don't go too far in either direction when I'm shaping it. the trailing edge as well. And I'll be leaving the trailing edge square so that it's less susceptible to damage. So I'm gonna run that line all the way through and then I'm going to be rounding the leading edge back to about 50 millimeters in, leaving a flat section here and then about 70 millimeters, I'll be fairing it towards the trailing edge. That's it for now. The kids are getting antsy. I gotta take them to the beach. So thanks for watching. In the next episode, hopefully I'll be shaping the foils and installing the mask support. So uh, see you guys then. Max, come on, buddy. Come on, mate. You coming? Dad, can you skittle these? What's that, Ace? Can you skittle these? Skittle them, is it yeah. skim them? Yeah. Yeah, let's try. What you got there, team? Nice. See you, Drew Drew. Fast legs, fast legs. Fast legs, fast legs. Looks like we're gonna walk in just in time. Definitely a storm brewing out there. Hey, Max.
All right, see you guys in the next episode.